Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and I'm going to make some pockets for our um, journal. This is going to be the journal that we're putting all of your, you guys' artwork and everything in. And I need to make a few pockets. I made some tags yesterday. Today I'm going to make some pockets. And I'm just going to use some various things that I have either got from you with the packaging or, you know, something I had laying around here. Just whatever. We're going to use whatever we can come up with. So I'm going to lay that over there aside just a minute. This is some tissue paper that I got in one of the packages. It had um, like some goodies wrapped in it. I can't even remember what all, but it had some goodies wrapped in it. So we're going to fold this up. I'm going to make some pockets out of this, believe it or not. I hope I am anyway. This is what I have in my head. So it's going to need to be... Of course, we're going to put this inside the journal, so it's not going to be, need to be super thick, but it's going to need to be thick enough that we don't have to worry about them falling apart on us. So I think I will fold it up one more time. And then I'm just going to trim around this. And I'll probably put a couple of layers in here. I'm thinking for just a second. Give me a minute. Let me think. Okay, first I'm just going to cut down this way. And I, I may have to go back and trim these off two or three different times, but that's okay if we do. We're using what we have on hand. So I just trim that off a little bit. Now, let's see how many layers I have here. I have three I have six layers. That's maybe a little much. Let's see what two layers feels like. We might can make more pockets. I think two layers is going to be enough. I'm going to go ahead and cut this bottom. <laughs> this is crafting on the fly, guys. I am cr creating this as we're going. I have no clue if this is going to work, but we'll see in just a minute. Okay, cut that at the bottom. Now, I'm just going to fold that over, I think, like that. And then fold the side over. I'm just thinking as I'm going, so we'll, I'll see in just a minute if this is going to work. Fold that up. And tear off the top. <clears throat> okay. Now I may just fold this back and keep this folded down. Now, working with tissue paper or anything like that. As you know, it's a little bit fiddly because, you, you know, your pieces are going to slide around. But uh, you can just start gluing any time that you want. Right now, I'm just kind of looking to see what I want it to look like. And then I will start gluing my pieces together. So, hmm, let's see. I think that will work. I may fold this side up just a little bit more. Give it just a little bit more strength on the back. And I wanted a little bit wanted it a little bit narrower anyway, so that will work, I think, right there. Now, before I do anything else, this is gonna be the front right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on this and glue these pieces together. Because, like I said, it's gonna need to be stronger than just a one ply. Because as you know, tissue paper is very, very thin. So, what am I going to use? Where is my... Okay, I think I'm just going to use a glue stick. Let's see what happens when we use a glue stick. Oh, I get sticky. I know that's what happens. Okay. I put it down very carefully because it uh, wants to grab onto that. Okay, pull that over. This may turn out to be a big mess. 
and we may not be able to do this. But I wanted to try. If we can't do this, I know something else that I can do with the tissue paper. Yeah, that, that's going to tear, I think. Okay. That one is okay. We got it down. So let's go ahead and do another. Put another one on there. It's probably going to be too flimsy. Let's see. And you can always cut it or trim it after you glue the pieces together. <laughs> We're experimenting. I hope y'all don't mind. Okay, that's the shiny side and that's the dull side. I want the dull side out. Most tissue paper has a shiny and a dull, and I just want the dull side out. I've got this bag under here just because I was going to, I'm going to make some uh, pockets out of that too, but, okay, I'm going to go ahead and stamp something on this before we do anything else. Uh, let's just see what stamp we might use. Let's just use that one, and that one. I think those two are pretty. I'm going to grab a block and some, this is Memento Rich Cocoa ink. Ooh, that stamped pretty. Okay, I'm just going to do the shadowy effect of it. Lay that on the side. Put that one on. Okay. That will work right there. Now what I'm going to do is, in order to make this sturdy enough that I can even glue it down to my page, I have just, we have cut or used, I don't know how many 6x6 six six paper packs this week getting everything ready for our classes for the Maticon. So I have just cut a piece that is, let me just tell you how big this is. I may not have even cut it straight. This is 3 and 3 quarter by 4. Okay, now I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. It looks a little crooked. It doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to even be straight. This is just going to be something to uh, make this a little bit heavier. So I'm going to lay that down on there just like that. And then I'm going to use my glue. And I'm just going to use our glitter glue. We're trying this out, so it's not going to matter. And this is going to be on the back, so it doesn't matter if it shows through anything. Whoops. All over. All right. Then I'm just going to fold that up, glue that down. Now, if your little sections come apart, just go ahead and glue them down as you're going. Um, like that. And then on this side right here, I'm just going to make sure that this is folded in. And then I'm going to fold that up, just like that. I know you've never in your lifetime seen anything like this before. <laughs> I always tend to do the unusual. I just, I love using tissue paper. And I just wanted to do some pockets out of it. I know they may not be as sturdy as another pocket, but I think they would be okay just to put some, you know, light tags down in, things like that. And I want to make sure that I use all of the items that you guys have sent me. So, therefore, it's tissue paper. 
So let's make sure we get glue right there. We don't want that corner coming up. And then I'm going to make sure that all of my little layers are glued together. Just like that. Okay, so there is our little pocket to this point. Now, I am just going to tear this top off. I want it kind of torn and rugged looking. I don't want it even. So I left a little bit above the um, chipboard there, or I'm calling it chipboard, that backing for this six by six paper. I left just a little bit above that so that I could tear this front part. Now see, this is gonna be glued down, but this front is not. And then if you have a pretty pattern on your six by six, you can face it forward like I did there and it might show through. I don't think that one's showing through too much because it is kind of a brown, but we'll see if we do another one if it does show through. Okay, so I'm gonna ink this up just a little bit. It just kind of makes it look more finished and more like what I want rather than just leaving it and people look at it and go, well, that's just tissue paper even though it is just tissue paper. Look at that, I like that. And then our pocket's right there. And we can even tear just a little, no, I'm not gonna tear any more down because my backing right there, I think that's fine, I'm not gonna tear. I started to say I could tear a little opening there, but I've got that backing in there and it would show. So I think, I think that's gonna work. And then what I have done, I'm gonna show you this. I've been experimenting a little bit today when I should have been working, but you know, every now and then you have to do something like that. So I have just taken some of my punches and I have punched out some book page, little butterflies, and then I have some little vellum flowers. And then this is a vellum butterfly. I want you to look at this. How pretty did that punch? So, I'm going to put a butterfly down on here, and I think I might put that one. I think that's going to be pretty. So, I'm going to glue him down right in the middle first. Now, I know he's probably a little bit larger than my flowers, but I don't mind that. Now, let's see if I have another. Let's just take this little book page one. And I'm going to ink just a tiny bit right around the edges. And then I'm going to put him, I think, right in the center. Just like that. And let me grab something to hold that down with. There we go, so let's, there, and then I need a little, some little bling in there. So let's grab our bling, cut just a little piece off, oh I cut four instead of three, I just needed three. I may not even need but two, let's just see, we can, I think we can do two on here. And that's a book page, so this is going to glue well on there. I think. Yes. Alright. Let me grab my little tool again. Gonna pick that butterfly back up and then press that down. There, like that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And let me grab a little tag. Where might our tags be? I had them right here somewhere. Um, let's just grab a piece of paper. It's quicker and easier. Let's grab this piece. So then our tag would go right in there, just like that. So there's our tag. Quick and easy, and that is not hard. I mean, working with vellum is a little bit di more difficult than just working with a thick cardstock, but it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. And I love those butterflies on there with vellum. I said working with vellum, not working with vellum, working with tissue paper. 
but I have used what you guys have sent me. So that's what I wanted to do. Let's see. I want to put I want to put some color on there for some reason, and I don't know why. But I want a little bit of color on there. So I'm going to use these. These are Nouveau Jewel Drops. And this is in, what color is this? Strawberry, strawberry something. And I'm going to try it first on a piece and just see what it's going to do. Just try it out. Well, I think that's going to work. Just going to have to let it dry just a little bit. So that's no problem. We can do that. These usually dry pretty quick. They dry quicker than stickles do. So what do I want to do with it? Hmm. I don't know. Now that I've got it, I don't know what I want to do with it. I'm just going to put just a few little drops here and there. No rhyme or reason. When these dry, they're crystal color. They're um, or they're glittery, and they keep their dimension, so they look like little pieces of bling all over it. So there is one right there, and you've just got some looks like little flowers in the background all around. So I'm going to lay that aside. And we're going to do another. And I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm not going to cut the bottom of this apart. I'm going to leave it together. And I'm just going to put our glue on here. And I'm not putting it all the way right to the edge because this, you know, it's going to be glued around that other piece. So I'm not going to worry about that. So we're just going to fold that up like that. And then I'm going to, let's see, I think I'll just do it this way. I started to flip it, but I think we'll do it this way. Just put a little bit more under there. And I got the idea for cutting out these uh, little butterflies and things out of book page from you guys. So I do pay attention when you send me some goodies, believe me. I love your artwork wonderful okay I think I've got all of that glued together I do believe maybe this page is not okay that page is not even cut I do need to cut it a little bit don't I no not really okay we're not even gonna cut it we're gonna leave it it's it's glued it I mean it's together at the top and the bottom so we're gonna leave it okay I'm just reaching over and getting things out of my garbage <laughs> here is another piece right here come off of a six by six pad and I'm just gonna kind of I do it this way just just to kind of see you know I want to hang it over about like that and I want to trim I'm not gonna drag my cutter out for this I'm just eyeballing it down about right there okay if it's, if it's a little crooked, it's not going to matter. It's not going to be a big deal. No stress. And see, I do cut crooked. That's crooked as a dog's hind leg. But we're going to leave it. It's going to work. Okay. My husband has laughed at me all day today because I have been... We have been doing all these classes and cutting and putting in garbage and all of that. And, and I put something in there and then I pull it back out. And he said, are you going to leave anything in the garbage or are you going to use everything? I said, I'm going to use everything that I can. Okay, I am going to cut this side a little bit straighter. That looks pretty pitiful right there. So he has laughed at me. He said, well, the thing of it is, the garbage man won't have as much to pick up if you reuse everything. Okay. And it doesn't matter which side. I think I'll just do that side in again. And I'm just going to lay that right there and glue it down. But first, we're going to put a stamp on here. Now, what stamp do we want? 
let me think. I think I want some butterflies on this one. Oh, maybe I'll do the book. The uh, This is like a book page. Um, it's called... What is it called? I have no idea. I don't know. I, I just have to try to look it up for you if you want to know what this one is. It's a Tim Holtz. But the name is gone off of it, so I'm not sure. But it's just a bunch of writing. It's like a, almost like a dictionary page. So I think I'll use this. And I don't know how it's going to stamp because I've not stamped it in a while. So we'll see. I don't think I inked it far enough down. So what is the weather? Ooh, I like that. What is the weather where you guys are? It has been raining here all day today. Look at that. I like that. That's stamped pretty. It's been raining and uh, the wind's been blowing a little bit. It's not really cold. We don't. I mean, we don't have cold weather this time of year, but it's been raining. I'm going to make sure that's good and dry before I flip it over. Okay, we're just going to kind of center this up. And then I'm just going to put my glue around and then fold that over. Just like we did on the other one. Fold the bottom first. Well, that made it a little bit easier when I had all of that together on the bottom. And then I'm just going to kind of fold this piece in so that I don't have that sharp corner. So that I have a nice looking little corner. There we go. We'll need to add a little bit more glue. Oops. And that's okay. That piece, piece tore, but we don't mind. We've got plenty more here. Okay, I need my tissue. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. And I'm just going to open that up and kind of push it in and then fold it over. That just gives me that nice corner. Okay. make sure that this is glued down now this doesn't have to be per Ooh, this doesn't have to be perfectly glued on the back because you are going to be putting it you know gluing it down to your journal so it doesn't have to be perfect now that's a little bit crooked but I'm not going to worry about that I still like the, the page I will still definitely use it so I'm not going to worry that it's a little bit crooked if I was putting a book page down in my journal I would probably get it a little bit crooked too. So, I'm not going to worry about that. Crafting, there's nothing that needs to be perfect about crafting. Okay, now I've got enough glue on me that everything's sticking to me. Okay, there is, I'm going to tear that little bit off right there. There is another pocket made out of the tissue paper. And see, I have lots of room down in there. Now, I am going to go right in here, and I'm going to glue this top part together so that when we start to insert that tag, that we'll have that top glued. And I tore it a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that either because your book pages are torn so no big problem still going to use it there we go all right let me make sure that i didn't glue my pocket together and i didn't there we go we still got our pocket and there is our little tissue paper 
pocket. And then we'll put something on here. Let's do a little book page butterfly. Well, that blends too much. Let's go back and grab one of the gold butterflies. It's made out of the vellum. Let's see if that blends too much. Yeah, it blends. So let's see if we've got a flower or something around here. I haven't got a flower that's fussy cut out, but I've got this one. I think it's pretty. I'm just going to ink around it pretty good to make it look like it's finished off. And I'm going to put that down on there. Okay, we'll put that down right there. And maybe that'll keep that from looking so crooked. Then, let's see, I had... Let me grab just a little piece of trim, a little piece of lace. I'll put on that. Okay, I'm going to put this little piece of lace right here. We'll put that on top. And I think I'll just wrap my lace around so I'm, I've got just enough to wrap it around on the ends and then we'll put a little piece of bling right there and I may put one of my labels on there let me grab one of my labels Let's just put this one that says timeless on here. I'm just going to trim the edge, trim that white off. And I'm going to kind of frazzle, I guess you could call that, my little tag up just a little bit just give it a little bit of you know a, a aged look and then I'm just going to take those places where I kind of folded it up and ink them make it look a little bit more aged and then we're going to put it down right here just like that All right so let's glue Okay, look what I got. I got a brand new bottle. Let's glue this lace down. My hubby got it for me yesterday. He got tired of seeing me fight with that other trying to get some out. So he was in town and he got, got me a bottle of that. He's a sweetie like that. Okay, so I've got that down. And then I am going to put this flower down there. And this may be just one or two tag video because it's kind of late now when I'm filming. It's already, oh, it's already 7.30 because I've been working all day and I haven't really had time to do this. So I just wanted to jump on and do these because I needed some for the journal page that we're going to be doing tomorrow so I wanted to jump on and do these really quick and I started to do them and not film and I thought no I'm going to take them with me I promised I would show them as much as I can so that's what we're going to do it may be this one may go up a little late and I apologize for that but uh, that's just the way it goes when you're having to work on other things 
And a lot of times, I, I have a few people that I watch that are, you know, in the UK and places. And I, I enjoy laying in bed at night and watching their videos. It kind of helps me go to sleep. Helps me wind down from the day. So hopefully this one might do that for you. It's just going to be a calm and easy video. Okay. So we've got that on there. And then we're just going to put this little banner on there. Call it a banner. It's a label, but I'm going to lay that down on there like that. And I want to glue it down. I may have to use some Fabri-Tac. Maybe not. Looks like it's sticking. And there we go. There is another. Whoops. There's another one. See, that's quick and easy. We still have our pocket there that we can put something down in. Just like that. Neat. Okay. All right. Let's make one. Let me put the top back on this. I do not want that to dry out for sure. Let's make one with uh, this paper bag. Now, this is one of those paper bags that I use to dye on. I dye my papers on these. So we're going to use a piece of this. And I'm sorry about the crinkling. There's not much way I can get around it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right up through here. I'm just going to cut right up to where I folded it there. That's probably not anywhere near the center or anything like that, but it's going to work. Now, I'm not going to make the tag that big. I'm not going to make, or I'm not going to make the pocket that big for sure. But I'm going to trim it down just a little bit there. I'm going to kind of look at it and see how crooked it is. Well, truthfully, it's not very bad. It's not real bad. So then I'm just going to fold it in the middle and this has got some nice color on there. So then I'm just going to cut this in half because that's going to be a good size pocket right there. Alright, now we can do the pocket this way or we can open up, you know, we can glue this side together. And just have the pocket that way and I think I will just glue this one side together and have my pocket up this way because both of these sides are already glued so let me I'm just gonna make sure that it's kind of even it looks like it is so let's see so that will actually be our side the bottom and then the top up here and then on this one, I'm going to use this front. I love that. I love all that color on there. And it's got kind of a shimmer to it, so I like that. I'm going to use these two and then some stamps. And what stamps am I going to use? I think I may pull this stamp in. I love this, this Tim Holtz stamp that one in and stamp right there and I'm not even going to put it on a block I'm just going to do it and I don't care if it's not exactly perfect that's fine Oh, I like that. I like that. See, it's not perfect, but I like it. Okay. Then, I think I'm going to stamp just a little bit more with it, right down here at the bottom. Cool. I like that. Okay, and I don't, I think on this one, I might use that might use this on that to see what that's going to look like on top of that pink. It's kind of a pink and a coral. And I'm just going to let it be a little bit sketchy, not so crisp. So I'm just inking here and there. Let me make sure that I'm putting it the right way up.
There we go. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Now, let's see what we need to do to put these together. I truthfully think on this one, all I am going to do is fold this around just like that. And then cut out a little top and let that be my pocket. I may use my little decorative scissors here. Slice across the top of that to make it look a little bit more like a bag. You could do this with wallpaper, um, tissue paper, uh, wrapping paper. There's anything that you've got in your house. You can do this with aluminum foil. I have seen some pockets done with aluminum foil and they're very, very pretty. You could do this with uh, freezer paper. Lots of different things that you can use. Just go through your house, find some things that are meant for the trash, drag them out, and make some pockets for your journals. Or punch out some things for your journals. That's kind of what I did with that. Today, my punches, I just punched some things out out of an old piece of book page that I had laying on my desk and just a piece of vellum that I had laying on my desk. And I, that way, I didn't throw them away. I just used them. Okay, so we have that side already done. It's already glued down. There's our pocket right there. Now I'm going to put a little ink around it to make it look more finished. We can either include these, we can put, you know, things in a memorabilia in here, or we can put, uh, let's say you go somewhere and you get a, a map or, you know, something, a receipt or something you want to keep up with, you can put it in here. Lots of different things you can do with these. Neat. I like that. And you can either slide this down in a pocket or just glue it to the page. Uh, the other, the vellum ones, you could do the same with those, but of course the back doesn't look as pretty unless you put another piece of vellum on there, and you could definitely do that. But I will probably glue those straight down on my page. Alright, so there is that. Let's see what we want to put on here. Mm, that kind of blends a little bit much. So, oh, I like that one. Let's do the, the book page one. And then let's see if we've got a little small vellum one. Here it is. Here's one to go on the inside of that. And I'm going to ink around this a little bit just to make it, give it more definition and to make it look a little bit more three dimension. And thank you guys for the tips on using those little brushes that I got. I got those brushes, but I had no I have no clue how to use them. But I got plenty of tips and I thank you for that. They are a little bit different to use than just one of those blending brushes, so but I'll be practicing more with those. Okay, where is my little tool here? And I just glue the center part of the butterfly down. Now, when you put it in your journal, it may flatten it out a little bit more. That's okay. For now, though, it's going to look pretty and stand up. Cute. I like that. Look at that. I like it. Now, let's see. We want to put a little piece of bling in there. Better put the top back on that memento ink before it dries out.
Look at that. I like that. Now let's put a little something else on there. I keep thinking I hear UPS coming up this late at night. I, I wouldn't put it past them. So what do we think we want to put on there? Let's just put one of Tina's numbers, number labels, and I think, I think I may pull in this dark blue just to give it a little bit of color. I am all about the color. Now, I did get in another package today. I know you will see a video that goes up right before this one that shows a couple of packages that I got in. I received another package this afternoon, and I will be opening it in the morning on camera. So, if you had a tracking or something on there and you see that it was delivered, don't think that I'm not showing it. I'm just going to be showing it in the morning because I've already film that other video so okay there is another one now you could go on and on decorating here you could put some more bling on here you could color in these little petals you could do different things with that you could have also stamped this with green ink that would have been really pretty but I'm gonna leave that for now I may come back and do something with it later we're gonna kind of do this one right now I think I'm gonna take my scissors again you know, I never thought years ago when I bought these scissors, and then they kind of went out of style, so everybody quit using them, and I quit using them. Uh, I left them on my shelf forever. I never thought that I'd be pulling those back out, but I love them now. I use them a lot. Okay. So let's see if we have that pretty straight. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm going to trim that just a little bit right there. Okay. Oh, the top doesn't look too straight. Let's go back over that one more time. There we go. I'm raking all the stuff off in the floor. My vacuum cleaner is going to go on strike. Now, I am going to fold this around just a little bit. I think it would look better if it was folded back. Then just glued, you could just glue it together on the sides and not have to fold it back like this. But I like that look a little bit better than I do this. So I'm just going to fold it around. But that's up to you. And since I'm probably going to be gluing these down, I don't really care that this is on the back. I have no idea where my bone folder is. We have been using so many things to get these kits ready that... Everything is turned upside down. So, put that right there. And then go ahead and put a little bit between the pages. See, I don't even mind that back. If I wanted to use this as a pocket that I could use to flip or something, I would just stamp the back again and, and you know, put something else on there and use it. I don't mind that back at all like that. Okay, now what do we want to put on this one? I pulled out a couple more of our flowers. I think that one would look good on there, but I do need to trim it out just a little bit. I'm just going to go real hurriedly around it. I'm not going to take too much time. So I'll probably just cut this out and then start back up. I'm going to grab my little brush and I'm going to try it like you guys suggested. I'm going to work off and then just kind of brush on. 
I am real heavy handed when it comes to ink so I usually get a little bit much on everything and these are a little bit fiddly because I don't want to break the leaves but just to tone down that white just a little bit is all I needed so that worked well thank you all right and I'm going to use one of Tina's number labels and I'm also going to use just a piece of this torn this is gold vellum gold sheen vellum I'm going to put just a little piece of that under there Grab my brush, my, not my brush, but my tool here. Okay, we're going to slide that under there. And put that down there. And we'll glue that down. Well, Edith, you need to glue your vellum down first. So let's go ahead and Put some glue on that. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll glue that right there. I can always go back and add a little glue if I need to. And then we'll put this number right there. Add a little bit more glue to the edges. Okay. And I don't mind if that curls up a little bit. I don't mind it at all. Matter of fact, I think it looks pretty good. It's like an old vintage something or another. Okay. And then where that, where that curls... I'm just going to add a little bit more ink. And there is another. I think that's cute. I like that. And then we've got plenty of room for our little memorabilia. And like I said, if, I, if I'm going to leave this and just put it in a pocket, I will go ahead and decorate the back side up too. Now, I do think I need a little bit something else on here. So let me see if I got a little piece of some kind of dark lace or something to put on here just a tiny little piece okay let's just ruffle this piece up and put it down if we can I think I can on here without using my sewing machine oh I may have to put that in another bottle that top didn't come off easy let's see I'm gonna put it down here Right, and I am just going to lay one end down and then I'm just going to ruffle as best I can. This will be a non-sewn ruffle. And if I can keep it from sticking to my fingers, we'll do real good. Grab our little tool here. Go ahead and go on out with it. And all I'm doing is just, I'm just laying it down and then, you know, I'm folding it over. Laying it down and folding it over just like you would if you sewed it, but we're not sewing. And then I'm just using this tool. This is actually a hot glue helper. But the glue doesn't stick to it, so I can use that tool to press it down like that. You can see we got a little little ruffle going on there. And then we're just going to trim that off right at the end. Okay, and save that little piece. I can use that. Then we're going to put just a little strip of bling down through there. I think that would look good. Right 
give them that rough look, just like that. There we go. There's our little ruffle and our little pocket. And I was wondering if I wanted to put something like this on the side of it. Mm, that might look a little strange. Okay, we won't do that. But I do want a little butterfly or something on here. So let's dig down to one. And I'm thinking I'll just put a little book page. Oh, I might want a flower on there. Let's see what a flower looks like. I don't know if I have any more flowers punched out. Yep, down there at the bottom is one. A little flower. There's a little butterfly. Uh, glue sticking to my fingers. Okay, let's try these little flowers out now this one is going to be in the back and I'm gonna put this one in the front now I'm gonna put a little ink on this one so I'm just gonna lay it down on my table all right we will glue this down and then I'll glue this one on top of it just turning this is that gold vellum and I'm just gonna turn it opposite way Gonna let the petals stick up. Just kind of bend them over a little bit. There we go. We'll put a piece of bling in the center of that. Let's see if I have a piece just here somewhere. Um, let's just put this. I think we'll just put this light blue one in there. Okay, and then we'll put our little butterfly down and just have him flying over to visit the flowers. Okay, and a couple of little pieces of bling in the center of that. Okay right off the table there we go that is our other little pocket all right now this that is probably going to be all that i'm going to have time to do tonight in order to still get this video up in time for you to watch it before tomorrow sometime so i am going to go ahead and stop this but then i will make probably a few more in the morning and i'll take you along with me if i do Okay, let's put these over here. So don't be afraid to use your tissue paper to make pockets and things like that because they're really pretty when they're stamped and I think they will work great. All right, guys, that is it for today. I do have the other video that is up. Like I said, it is the one where I opened a couple of packages today. So you can watch that one, and then tomorrow we'll try to get the package that came in today and a few more things up for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.